Alex took some acting classes too uh, when he was off, and so it feels like a lot of the stuff you've done has felt somewhat, well, a little bit more believable and occasionally like engaging. What we're saying is I'm getting better. By the time the show ends, uh, I might be decent. We get into a lot of the, the relationship drama mid-season. Uh, we start to figure out, you know, there's there, there's been a, a lot of heavy drama between Dean and Cass. There's a lot of light shed on that as to why. Then the Jack thing uh, happens, and I think the onion gets peeled back quite a bit on a lot of feelings and thoughts and situations within kind of the brotherhood that we have. And so, yeah, it, it was kind of nice to explore that because a lot of times it gets glazed over with the, the case or the monster of the week or, uh, you know, the big heavy at hand. and. So I think this year we're, we're doing all that, but we're somehow finding a, a way to get into the minutia of the relationships between the characters, and I think it's really great. I think that it's starting to pan out really well. Cass takes Jack's death very personally. He feels like he failed as a angel. He feels like he failed as a father. He didn't keep his promise. So ultimately, I think when you're resurrected, when that happens, I, I think Cass of everyone is the most euphoric. He just feels like giddy with joy and so happy. Which is strange, because you don't so really show it. No, so happy to have you back. Yeah. Mm. And it's a different kind of relationship for Sam and Dean, because we've we've lost friends, and we've lost you know, our mother and father, we've lost each other, but with Jack, you know, technically he's what, three years old or something? So we're, he's kind of a, a, a son figure to us. We're kind of his father figure. So it was, it's a, it was a He's almost loss. as mature as we are. <laughs> he's much, much more mature <laughs> than we are. Yeah, he's far along. Uh, so it hits the boys in a different way. We know in this episode that he does come back and we see Sam grieve, still hide it because uh, he has work to do, Sam has work to do and he wants to move forward and be strong. But we see Sam just how much he missed Jack and felt bad about Jack A being gone, and then B, Jack not coming back to Sam and Dean when Jack came back to Earth. And kind of that wondering of like, why, why didn't you come back to us? You know, like, we would, we had your back, man. Like, I hope you know that we love you. And trying to struggle with maybe why, is it because Jack doesn't trust them? Or is it because he also is going through something and he's hiding something? Uh, time will tell. <laughs>